Emily with the Cleaning Music Lady, and we have tons to clean today. We're gonna start here in the kitchen, but the first thing I wanted to show you all was what I use to hold my cleaning supplies. I've gotten some questions about this. It's not a giant setup, but I have found that if I get too big of a container that it gets really heavy and I tend to pack it too full. So it's kind of like my purses. I set a limit on how big it can be. So I wanted to go ahead and just tell you guys a little bit about what I have in here and why. I have my Dawn Power Wash because it's amazing and I use it to clean on a lot of stuff. I always keep a lot of this. I've got my Method anti back Cleaner in the smell of bamboo. I love the way this stuff smells and I love that you know, it's getting all those germs, especially with everything we're going through. This is amazing for stuck on grease on the stove. It's the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. It smells great. I absolutely love the way this smells. This is probably my favorite smelling cleaner ever. It is an almond smell and it's the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. I also have, speaking of great smells, the Method Pink Grapefruit Multi-Purpose Cleaner. This is awesome for basically everything. You can even actually use it on wood, so it has a lot of uses. And then also, I don't always use this because I really find that my e-cloth can do the job very well, but the Method Stainless Steel Cleaner and Polish is also great. I also have a bathroom spray, which we're not going to talk about because we're not using that right now. And I just always keep my iRobot Brava Jet Mop Liquid. And something about the Brava Mop that I love is that this doesn't really smell like a whole lot. Um, sometimes I feel like our homes can get a little bit too fragrant. So I love that that doesn't really smell like anything, honestly. But let's go ahead and I'll show you what our kitchen looks like. So we've got just a lot of stuff out of order. The tomatoes are finally in from the garden. I'm excited about that. Got some dishes to do. This is my husband's like athletic protein powder, pre-workout, post-workout. I don't know what all he does over here, but this tends to get pretty messy. Um, I wanted to show you all my beautiful sunflowers. Shout out to my dad for growing these for me. They're absolutely gorgeous. The sink, we've got to deal with these dishes. Got to put some stuff away. Need to deal with that birthday gift. Overall, everything definitely needs a good wipe down. The cart, I don't love cleaning this thing because it is kind of hard to take everything off. You can probably tell it's pretty dusty. I also noticed last night when I was about to put away this brand new bag of coffee that our carousel type rotating thing is very dirty and needs attention. So that's got to get, get cleaned. Also, just the table is a mess. And I need to clean all of that up. So I think probably for the floors, I'm going to let the robots do the work today because we already have so much to do. So let's get to work. Grab your supplies and clean with me. I'm removing my summer decor plants here because I'm getting ready to decorate for fall. In my next video, I'll be decorating the entire main floor and I know it's a little early, but fall decor is so pretty and I just love this time of year.
I prefer to do the dishes rather than putting them away. So actually my husband almost always unloads the dishwasher for us because I just really do not like doing it. I'm wondering, would you rather wash dishes or put them away? You'll have to let me know in the comments. I'm using my scrub daddy sponge and the Dawn Power Wash to clean up these few pots and pans. Our cookware is the Allclad brand and it is non-stick but it is not dishwasher safe. It's so easy to clean though because nothing ever sticks to it so I don't really mind to just wash these by hand. The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa Today I'm using my E-Cloth Kitchen Dynamo Microfiber Sponge to clean our granite countertops and give the polka dotted canisters a nice wipe down. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I already have a pumpkin spice candle on the candle warmer so you can really see that I am ready for the fall season to get here. After the counters, I'm going to give my kitchen scissors a nice scrubbing because I noticed that they have a few rust spots on them and I want to address those immediately so I'm going to use my stovetop e-cloth because it has a nice little scrubby section that will help me get those out. Let me know in the comments if any of you have dealt with rust spots on your kitchen scissors and something that's helped. Awaken my spirit now. You got me thinking, whoa. I don't know how we got here. Oh my, I think we better run. We ought to leave this place tonight. I'm telling you. Jonathan keeps telling me that I never use our KitchenAid mixer, and honestly, he's not wrong. I need to use it more often. I'm wondering if any of you might have a favorite fall dessert recipe that you wouldn't mind to share with us in the comments. In my next video, in addition to decorating for fall, I will be showing you all how to make our favorite fall soup. Make sure you check in for that video coming soon. Just a bit of sugar to that hobbit Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking That maybe you're not different I guess it never 
I noticed that there was some food and grease stuck under the sides and corner of the stove top and honestly I probably should have cleaned it like this last time but I wanted to give it a deep clean with my OXO scrub brush and Dawn Power Wash. You're all alone. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. using my method stainless steel cleaner and polish to clean all of our stainless steel appliances. I'll also be using the method wood cleaner to give all of the lower cabinets faces a nice wipe down and cleaning. Especially after I made chicken and dumplings about a week ago, some of the flour is still stuck in those bottom cabinets. Seems like it just goes everywhere even if you're trying to be careful. See under the light. So keep me in your sight Cause I can do this all night You can call it what you want I got something else in mind Oh, if it's you I've been waiting for I better make you worth my time So don't you pay
here's the final look. It's looking nice and clean, a lot more organized. You've always felt like a part of you has gone missing. I know it's real, but I'm telling you, it's closer than you know. I'm really trying to keep it cool now. This is the bathroom that is in question right now. So, I mean, I can't blame it all on my husband, although a lot of it is his fault. Um, I left for about a week, and this is what I came home to. So. I'm going to be putting away some things that don't belong, giving things a big clean, and uh, restocking some toilet paper from our last Costco haul. So I'm going to get right to it. and tired of seeing you in pain your head's in a haze won't you lean on me as you all can see the faucets are not looking very good and i really do clean these every week but it seems like my normal bathroom cleaners aren't cutting it so i actually picked up some lime away to remove lime calcium and rust i think that this should help a lot so i'm gonna give it a shot I'm standing on a cliff side while you tumble way below the waves and the current pulls you in I try to guide you out to come once just give me your oh we gotta let go Lime Away really did help with the faucets and I went over those twice just to make sure but I think I'm going to start doing that every week and just make sure those hard water stains stay away. I'm happy to see that my countertop looks a lot cleaner and more organized again. One tip I have for using the mirror e-cloth is to only get half of the rag wet. This way you can use the dry side to polish for a streak free shine. Still, you're my medicine. 
So first I'm going to dust the toilet with just using a little bit of toilet paper before I go in there with my Clorox wipe and sanitize everything including as much of the backs and the sides as I can get. I just want to give the toilet a lot of attention today and the bowl is absolutely disgusting. I'm like embarrassed to even show this on camera honestly but like I said I've been gone a week and I'm not exactly pointing fingers but anyway I'm using the Scotch-Brite toilet bowl cleaner system. This is really similar to the Clorox um, toilet bowl cleaners if you have ever heard of those and I really like these for this bathroom because this bathroom is such a small space and any way we can save space really is good so this toilet bowl cleaner fits right on the side of the toilet there's a little hook and it's very very convenient Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday to kind of create my own storage space in this bathroom, I store our cleaning supplies in this really simple rolling Target white bin. I think it's made by Design Brand. I honestly really need to take that sticker off you all. But I like that bin a lot because it just slides out right under the bathtub. I know maybe it doesn't look the very best, but girl's got to store her cleaning supplies. So I store those there and I also store our toilet paper in that little bamboo basket and it's super simple. I just put it up by under the, the tub because it's an easy reach from the toilet. When anyone ever comes over for the first time and sees our place, they love this bathroom. They think the tile and tub is so pretty and it really is. The number one question I get is, don't you always take baths in here? And the answer is no. The bathtub is honestly pretty cold and it seems like the inside is painted and I'm probably just being paranoid but I feel like it could chip away over time so I try not to take a bath in here unless we have guests staying upstairs and I want to try to give them their space and then I will take a bath in here occasionally. So today I went to Costco with my best friend and got a lot of good stuff so I just wanted to show you all the haul. Lots of different things. The first thing I got was a ton of refill cartridges for my razor. 
I love the five blades and the skin, those are great. I got some allergy medicine and some acid controller. I love the Kirkland brand because they're just so much cheaper. I got lots of sleep aid for my husband, he takes this every night. We love Indian food, especially me, so I thought I would try this organic tikka masala sauce and see if it's any good. I got a big bag of these little potatoes. We love to eat these for dinner as an easy side. We can sometimes mash them up or just eat them as whole as is. I've never um, tried this before, but I have tried this brand of sugar, so I thought I would try the keto brownie mix and see if it's any good. I got a giant bottle of avocado oil because we were kind of running low, and I like that kind. I do not like pickles at all, but my husband really likes them, so Famous Dave's, I'm pretty sure, are his favorites because I bought them before and he ate them really quickly. I love the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. I've never tried the original flavor, but I'm excited to try them. I always seem to buy the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers because always need one so I got a big pack of those. I got a bunch of Pringles for us to take to work. They're in like the little tiny cans so they're really great. My best friend said that these um, vegan white cheddar puffs are awesome so I'm excited to try them. We'll probably crack those open tonight. We got a bunch of shelled pistachios because this is just a super easy snack for me at work. Um, the classes. A few keto products. I got this pancake and waffle mix. It has five net carbs and nine grams of protein. So it's made with almonds, eggs, coconut, and buttermilk. So I'm excited to try these. Another keto product. I got this nut granola and it only has three grams of net carbs. So I'm excited to try this with some milk and yogurt. Alright, moving on over here, just some like products for the home and car. I got these car clips. We love the Hawaii scent. It reminds us of our trip to Hawaii. Um, I use OxyClean in every load of laundry it seems like, so I got a big thing of that. We use these flushable wipes for basically everything. Um, I got this for our dishwasher to rinse our rinse and my best friend convinced me to try this instead of fabric softener and it smells really amazing. So this is our haul. We've got a lot of good stuff. Also not pictured but already in my car. I got a big box of veggie straws for work for using with hummus.